Welcome to Little Learners. My name is Laughing Sal. And my name is Sammy, Sammy the Surfman. We will be teaching little learners for a little while. Together, we are going to have so much fun. We will be learning about history and wildlife. And we will also be spending time with special guests. Our special guest today is Mark Sampson who is the captain of the boat Fishfinder. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sammy. Mark takes people out to the ocean to look at sharks. Wow, is that what we are going to learn about today? I thought we already learned about sharks. Remember, Sammy, there are over 400 sharks, and we have only learned about a few. That's right. Well. What sharks will we be learning about today, Mark? Actually, today we're going to learn about hammerhead sharks and thresher sharks. Oh, thrashers? Like thrashers french fries? No, Sammy. Thresher sharks. Oh, thresher sharks. Mark, will you show us what a thresher shark looks like? Sure, Sammy. Okay, so this is a picture here of a thresher shark. Oh. See the big long tail on them? That's how we know it's a thresher shark. It's a big tail! Very big tail. Bigger than any of the other sharks. Hey. Hey, Mark. Yes. Um, well, that's what they look like. Well, what about their teeth? Oh, the teeth on the thresher shark. Well, look, here's a set of teeth, the jaws from the thresher shark. Okay, oh. now. They have not real big mouth, but pretty big, but the mainly they have very tiny teeth compared to a lot of sharks. They look so small. What do they eat with all those teeth? Well, like most sharks, the thresher sharks eat mostly, sometimes crabs or other things, but mostly fish. Mm -hmm. And they eat mostly small fish. Some sharks eat very large fish, but the, the threshers like small fish. That's the one reason why they have small teeth. What, what kind of small fish do they eat? Well, around here off Ocean City, the thresher sharks are probably eating mostly like bluefish and sea bass, menhaden, maybe sea trout. Wow. Oh, I like those fish. Yeah, I like them too. They're pretty good to eat. Yeah. Maybe that's why the thresher likes them so much. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Um, um. I'm excited to learn about the hammerhead. What does a hammerhead shark look like? Oh, the hammerhead. Yeah, so hammerheads look like this. Ooh. Okay, yeah, the hammerheads, of course, a lot of people like the hammerheads because they're so unique. They have, well, what does this head look like? It, it looks like a hammer. There you Whoa. go. Mark, guess what? I know all about hammers. You do? I used a hammer to build my surfboat. But but I don't I don't know anything about a hammerhead shark. Well, I'm guessing the hammer that you used to make your boat with was a bit different than the hammer on the hammerhead shark. <laughs> <laughs> so the hammerhead shark, of course, his head sort of looks like a hammer, but not quite, but it sort of looks like one. And it's actually called a cephalofoil. I know that's a big name. Cephalofoil. Cephalofoil. Yeah, cephalofoil. But it's sort of like a, almost like a wing or a big fin on their head. And, and because they have that, it allows them to make really fast turns when they're trying to catch a little fish, you know, for their lunch. They can make a fast turn because they can throw that cephalofoil one way or the other. And it helps to direct the, the shark and his mouth right over to that fish. And of course, another thing about that funny looking hammer like head that they have is the eyes are out on either side of the hammer. So that brings their eyes way out on this side. Like way out, way out here. Woo! -hoo! Mark. Way out here. Whoa. And that helps them to see the, the fish they're trying to catch the better. And even smell them better because their nose is spread out across either side of their head as well. Mark, yeah. would it be like if my eyes were on my ears? 
pretty much. If you could imagine if your eyes were out on your ears, you'd be able to see a little bit more behind you, and you'd also be able to see around all the more than just having your eyes up front. Ah, right? Oh. So it does make them better at catching fish. Mark, I know that there are over 400 sharks, but how many of these sharks can you find living off the coast of Ocean City? Okay, so around the whole world, in all the oceans, all the waters, yes, there's more than 400 different types of sharks, okay? But off Ocean City, we have about 14 different sharks, different types of sharks that show up in our waters frequently, and occasionally some other ones. Here's some pictures that just show lots of different types of sharks that are found off of our coast. So out here, of course, we have the hammerheads and, and the threshers, and we have mako sharks and blue sharks, tigers and sand tigers and black nose and black tip. Black tip. Black tip. Yeah, why do you think they call them black tips? I don't know. Because oh, they have black tips on wow. their fins. Oh, yep. <laughs> easy to spot. Yeah, and we have angel sharks and spinner sharks, white sharks, you know, the great white shark. Yeah. Uh, all white. kinds of throat sharks. Oh. Well, Mark, I, I, see, I see you have so many teeth on the table. Can, can you tell little learners about some of these teeth? Sure. Well, like, you know, I showed you these teeth already, which, of course, are from the thresher shark. Thresher. You know, kind of tiny little teeth. Thresher. Thresher. Not thrasher. Thresher. And then here's some teeth from a hammerhead shark here. Oh. Okay, so they're also not real, real big teeth. They're pretty big, but not real big. But then I just want to show you these guys. And this type of shark doesn't really live around here much. But this, these great big teeth here Ooh. are Let me see. from a bull shark. Wow, bull you see, shark. They're so big. Okay, so the bull shark, he's accustomed to eating small fish and big fish. Bull shark. Bull shark. You need big teeth to do big fish. Yeah. And so the thresher and the hammerhead mostly eat smaller fish, so they don't need the great big teeth of the bull sharks. And if you really want to see some, here's just one one tooth I'm going to hold up for you. Look how big that tooth is. Ooh! Is that your that's tooth, Mark? That's not... Well, I own it, but I didn't grow it. So this tooth came out of a very large mako shark. And they get pretty big, and they have some really big teeth. But you can see it's even bigger than the bull shark teeth, and it's shaped different, too. Wow, look at that! Okay. Yeah, because again, all depends upon what they're going to be eating. You know, that sort of, they have a different type of teeth and a, a bigger mouth or a smaller mouth or whatever. So if they only eat little fish, they only need little teeth. If they're eating big fish, they need big teeth. How, how many teeth do, does a shark have? Well, can you see inside the mouth here all the little teeth, all yeah. the extra teeth? There's so many. Isn't that some? Sal, can you see these teeth? Too? Yes. Okay, so you know that we only have, what, two sets of teeth. Mm -hmm. People, right? We have our baby teeth, and when we lose them, we get our big teeth. Yes. Well, the sharks have many, many, many rows of teeth, and throughout their whole life, they grow more. They never run out of teeth. Mm -hmm. And actually, they lose their teeth. You know, when you're growing up, you lose your baby teeth one time, and you get your big teeth. Well, the sharks lose their teeth like every few months, some sharks even every few weeks. Wow. They lose their teeth, their outer teeth, but the new teeth are right there. So you almost never find a shark that doesn't have a full set of teeth. That's so cool. Or cavities or fillings or anything like that. <laughs> He's always got fresh teeth coming in. And so, you know, we said how sharks eat. Again, what do they eat mostly? Fish. Fish. Yes. Big fish. fish. That's fish. little fish. fish. Mostly. And so when we talk about sharks, you know, they eat fish. How do most fish make little fish? Oh, um, I know, Mark. What's that? Um, fish lay eggs. They do. Most of them. 
lay eggs, little tiny eggs that hatch and they end in little tiny fish. Mark? Yes. Are sharks fish? Sharks are fish. Yeah. Ooh, They're big a, fish. They don't look necessarily like a regular fish a lot of people think of, like this one I'm holding up here. This is sort of the, the basic fish, right? And sharks typically look different, but they are fish, right? They're not like a dolphin that we know is not a fish. Sharks are real fish. But unlike most fish that mostly lay eggs, like this little fish here we see, it's got little eggs Can inside I see? it. Can you see that? Oh, those are eggs. the eggs. Yeah, the oh. eggs inside. See that, Sandy? Yeah. Okay, so the sharks, however, they don't, well, some of them lay eggs, but most of them have baby sharks, like this little baby here. Oh, that's that? a tiny shark. It's a very yeah. tiny shark. So let's say a shark this big would probably have a baby about this big. But if you look real close, you can see that the baby is oh. looks just like mama. Just right? tiny. Just tiny. Oh. Right? So the sharks where a fish has lots and lots of little eggs, thousands of little eggs, the shark just has a few babies every year. Just a few. Oh, in, in her belly. In her belly. And, up, and they're all ready to fish. They're all ready to go after little fish. Wow. Yeah. Do they, do they have all those teeth? I'm sorry. Like the mama shark, do they have all those teeth? They do have all their teeth. Yep. Wow. Yep. They're, they're ready to go. So even a little baby shark, you probably don't want to put your finger in its mouth. Wow. Oh, oh, Mark. Yeah. I have a very important question for you. Okay. What is the meanest shark on the planet? Oh, uh, the meanest shark. Wait, can I ask you a question first? Yeah. What is the meanest dog on the planet? Oh, I love dogs. I don't know. So do I. I like dogs too. Why do we like dogs? They're so nice. They're so nice. And some, some people sometimes call it Certain dogs mean why? Because they, they might step on their tail and they get bit. Oh. Or they try to steal their bone and sometimes, the dog growls at them. Sometimes uh, dogs get upset. Yeah. And so we kind of call them mean. But really, we know shark, or the dogs are not mean. Um, it's the same thing about sharks. You really can't call a shark mean. Some people call them mean because they... They see them chasing after fish and eating fish, and sometimes they bite people and things like that. But really, it's not because they're mean. They're just doing what they do. Okay? No. So sharks are always out looking for a fish to eat. They're just trying to eat. Yeah. Sometimes people get in their way between the between their fish they're trying to catch and the shark, and sometimes they get bit too. So that's not good. Mm -hmm. So we always have to be careful around sharks. But it's really not fair to call them mean. Oh, well, I think it's important to be careful around most animals, Mark. Sure, absolutely. Mark? Mm hmm Thank you so much. We have learned so much about sharks. Hammerheads! And thrashers. Thrashers. Thrasher sharks. Remember. Not thrashers, Sal. But we have one more question for you before you leave us today. Barb, what's your favorite shark? Mm, my favorite shark. Well, you know, I'm a fisherman, so my favorite shark is usually the hungriest shark when I'm out fishing, the one that's going to bite my line. <laughs> but if I had to pick one out, I kind of like the sandbar shark. Sandbar shark? Yeah, I kind of like him because he's a... Uh, He's not all fancy like a hammerhead or a thresher, don't have big teeth like a mako, but he's just kind of a cool shark. And there's lots of them out here off of our coast of Ocean City, the sandbar. Sandbar shark. Wow. How big do they get? Well, sandbar sharks will grow to about seven feet long, and they might weigh 250 pounds when they get full size. Wow. But, but they're, they're very slow to grow, and they'll live for like 50 or 60 years. That's they, so old. Yeah, they live a long time. I weigh about five pounds because I'm a puppet. <laughs> well, that's about how big a sandbar shark is when it's first born. 
Wow. Wow. So, you could be a sandboard shark. And they're about, <laughs> about this big. Wow. When they're oh. first born. Oh. Wow. Well, thank you, Mark, so much for coming and teaching us all about sharks. Don't forget, little learners, we will see you next month. Bye. 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 We have a craft for you to make. If you can see here, we have our under the sea mobile. So don't forget to stop by the museum and get all the material you need to make this wonderful under the sea fish mobile. We will see you soon.